The powder room was an essential must-have on the main floor, especially with two young children. And we also decided to be very playful. So of course, the wallpaper is a beautiful and colorful chinoiserie pattern and really set off the tone for the entire space. And it was really an opportunity to have some fun. And if you can have fun anywhere, it'll be the powder room. The powder room is a real decorator moment. I always say it's kind of like what my great aunt would have done. It's a very traditional wallpaper through Thibaut, which is a beautiful vine that really just overwhelms the space, but in the right way. The fixtures in the powder room are by DXV. They're quite traditional, but they just tie in so well to the wallpaper. And the piece de resistance is definitely the chandelier. My one tip for clients to go bold in a powder room, it is a small space and it needs a wow effect. So the wallpaper is from Schumacher. It's called Queen of Spain. It has that really bold black and white feel. We decided to do it just on one wall. So it's the wall behind the vanity, and then we painted all the other walls in a really ultimate black. We wanted to have a little bit of glam, so we added bronze in the faucet, in all the accessories, and in the sconces. The one challenge that we had with the powder room was that my client wanted to have more counter space. So what we designed was this custom quartz ledge going all the way from one side to the other and then did a sit on basin. The powder room before had a blue toilet and a blue petal still sink. So clearly my client loves blue. We were able to transform the love of blue into this and get rid of the toilet and the pedestal. We added a little bit of the navy. There's some black accents going on there. So it all really ties together nicely and we don't have a blue toilet anymore. <laughs> The powder room represented to me a huge challenge. I could have made it anything I wanted to and it's sort of a designer's worst nightmare because you can drive yourself absolutely crazy and I did. I wanted to use something that was unique and individual. So I searched high and low for reclaimed material and it turns out there's a company in Miami that reclaims tile from the floors and walls of churches in France. And it's an encaustic tile that's 5 eighths of an inch thick and it's impregnated all the way through. So it's a really well constructed, very solid tile that does not destruct. And even 100 years later is still in amazing shape. You can actually feel on the surface of the tile the pattern where people walked on the floor. I have a certificate of authenticity from this tile for 1905, which is the year the house was made. So it's just kind of seemed perfect. It's sort of a one of a kind and I'm really happy with the way it turned out.